What's up guys? So today I have here a brand new unboxing video. Um, this fabulous ring just shipped from Weta Workshop in New Zealand. Um, this is the one ring made by Jens Hansen, or Jens Hansen, whatever you like to call him. Um, it's different translation in states, so if I get the name wrong, sorry about that. I am an American, so that's why. Um, but I've been waiting for this thing ever since like high school, I think. I've always researched the one ring and wanted a replica that was pretty much movie accurate. As you can see here, I am kind of wearing the one ring that I got like a couple weeks ago. Um, when I bought that, but I am so stoked to be bringing this to you guys today. This is the exact dimensions from the Lord of the Rings films as well as the Hobbit movies um, 1 through 6. Um, if you've seen the Hobbit movies, you know what the One Ring looks like, and it's even mentioned in the Tolkien books of the same name. Um, this is going to be so freaking cool, because like, I swear, I've seen other videos, and like seeing the other videos doesn't do it justice to kind of what the ring looks like in real life. Um, this is the exact specs they used for the movie. This is exact dimension. So this is as close to realistic as you can get with the one ring. And it's made by the ring maker himself that made the rings for the Lord of the Rings franchise, and his name is Jens Hansen. I am super stoked, as I've said before. So let's get to the review. I'm really anticipating this because like as a huge Lord of the Rings fan who sat through um, I sat through The Two Towers and Return of the King and I've sat through all the other Hobbit films this is one of those things that I've been waiting for for a very very long time so like my nerd levels are like super high now and I knew this was coming sooner than uh, next week and that's when it was expe expected to arrive but I just got paid from work and everything and this is just an added bonus to that so let's get to the uh, unboxing shall we uh, so first things first, you want to lift the little top here. There's some uh, foam padding just to kind of keep the ring, um, just to kind of keep the ring uh, sealed during shipping. Um, it's not really to it. It's just kind of a box and everything. And I just hit my tripod. But um, in any case, I'm going to pull out the little padding here and get rid of that because we don't really need that. Um, inside, you, as you can see, you get the uh, Lord of the Rings One Ring. Um, this is the Elvish runes, obviously, because uh, no ring is complete without having the Elvish runes on it. They do sell the all gold plated version without the elvish runes which i may get in the future just because it's more movie accurate the elvish runes or elvish script was used in certain parts and was added digitally when they made the film um, just to give it sort of a better effect and it looks pretty cool in the movie you can see it the first time with uh sauron fighting the uh elves within that huge battle sequence in lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring which is pretty cool if you haven't seen it what are you doing with your life? But you can see the little wooden uh, box that you've seen in other reviews. If, uh, but you got the Lord of the Rings uh, logo and trademark on the uh, front of the wooden box. This is a legit wooden box. This is not like another material made to look like wood. This feels like actual wood. Um, I'm, so, I'm sure they kind of like sanded it off and everything before they shipped it just to make it so they couldn't get people to um, complain about having like splinters and stuff. But this feels pretty cool. It's uh, definitely a nice piece to have, especially like if you want to use this as sort of a display piece for your other rings and things like that. But this is a lot nicer looking than sort of my other display cases. I do like the Noble Collections cases, but this is a little bit better in terms of the design just because it's simple and everybody kind of likes a little bit simpler design. But on the side here, you can see it has the Elvish runes or Elvish script, which is on the uh, One Ring itself. Um, it says One Ring to rule them all, One Ring to bind them, and in the darkness find them. Um, it's pretty much the uh, saying that's on the side of the One Ring as well. Um, and then we open this up here. And the uh, actual top of it is magnetized. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed that the uh, Weta logo is a little bit worn off as well as the Jen Hansen uh, or Jens Hansen uh, logo is. But still, you can see that it was made by the actual ring maker himself. I do like the magnetized thing just because it's kind of like the uh, Blu-ray for the extended edition, which is also magnetized with the cover. So this will look pretty cool. Um, on the bot in the thing, you can see um, you have the one ring itself, which... It's pretty freaking awesome. I can't believe I'm actually holding this in my hands right now. It's a size 10 uh, just because my ring finger is a size 10. The one in the movie is actually a size 11, I think, but due to the fact that I want to wear this around and I'll be able to uh, use this, um, especially when I'm going out of town or seeing a movie or something like that, I can just wear this around and especially my other rings, it looks kind of decent that it's a size 10, but I mean, one size down doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'm going to put that down. Um, inside you get little uh, blue velvet um, sort of material so you can uh, place the ring on there and it looks kind of nice just like a display piece um, for the all gold plated one which they do have again um, it's a red sort of velvet um, material that's inside of it 
but this is pretty freaking awesome. So I'm gonna remove that and put this aside and let's bring out the one ring, which is the thing that we came to see, didn't we? So remove it from the baggie just like the other rings. Um, I don't know why it's always in a baggie, but maybe it's just to keep it um, from getting dirty. There we go. Um, so we remove the baggie and inside or inside comes the one ring. Now I am wearing my Tooth and Jewelry one ring. I've worn this thing like constantly since I got it just because it's pretty freaking awesome. But this thing is freaking badass. Uh, this is the one ring of power. This is the exact same dimension size that was used in the actual film. Um, again, this is as close to movie accurate as you are going to be able to get, especially with a one ring. So if you're a fan of the films and you're doing like a fan made movie, or if you're going to be using this as a display piece, this is the ring that you're going to want to have in your collection. I can't tell you how amazing this feels and how cool of a band this is. This is just freaking awesome, especially the fact that I know that I paid real good money to have the legit one ring. Like, this is just everything that I've always wanted um, in a ring combined. Um, now, I do like my other rings. They're kind of decent if you're going to go the cheaper route. But I do highly recommend that you go the more expensive route just because you can get the exact ring that's from the film. And maybe if I go to New Zealand one day, I can bring this ring with me and kind of bring it back to where they made it just to be like, hey, this is where it came from. Um, but for something that... I've been waiting for like most of my life to have. This is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I, I can't tell you guys enough how cool this actually is, especially for a Lord of the Rings fan like me, who's read the books, who's watched all the movies, extended versions, which are probably better than the actual theatrical release. Um, this is awesome. I, I really do recommend this. There's Elvis rooms on the uh, outside as well as the inside. There is a trademark um, in the inside of the one ring, which does annoy me a little bit because if you're using this as a prop you don't really want the Weta signature inside of the one ring but I guess it's made to be worn and to kind of can use as a display piece so in that respects that's fine and dandy I'm probably going to use this for a couple videos anyway so yeah this is my review of the Weta one ring I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am so stoked to see how people react when I show them like yeah this is made from the actual creator this is from the actual studio that made the films uh, Weta Digital Weta Workshop as well as New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers and you know you name it um, I'm just throwing down company names at the moment but this is freaking sweet um, excuse my French but yeah um, I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth 100 bucks. Now, they do come in different versions, gold-plated, silver. Those are will run you a couple thousand dollars just for that alone because they're actual gold. Mine's tungsten carbide, like this ring that I have been wearing right here. Um, so it will wear off after a couple years of use, but, I mean, if you don't ding it around too much, if you don't, like, try and purposely destroy it, this should definitely last you a good while. Um, it's certainly going to last me a couple years before I actually have to buy a new one, and maybe I will buy the old gold plated tungsten carbide ring I don't know but I'm just so happy to actually have this in my hands and be able to hold this thing it's it's, it's pretty cool so hope you guys like this uh, video I'm going on like five six minutes now so um, let me know if you guys uh, like this one ring in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys in the next video peace out